In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. Sawed by the Quran containing reminder. But those who disbelieve are in pride and dissension. How many a generation have we destroyed before them? And they then called out, but it was not a time for escape. And they wondered that there has come to them a warner from among themselves. And the disbelievers say, this is a magician and a liar. Has he made the gods only one god? Indeed, this is a curious thing. And the eminent among them went forth, saying, Continue and be patient over the defense of your gods. Indeed, this is a thing intended. <laughs> We have not heard of this in the latest religion. This is not but a fabrication. Has the message been revealed to him out of all of us? Rather, they are in doubt about my message. Rather, they have not yet tasted my punishment. Or do they have the depositories of the mercy of your Lord, the exalted in might, the bestower? <laughs> or 
Or is theirs the dominion of the heavens and the earth and what is between them? Then let them ascend through any ways of access. They are but soldiers who will be defeated there among the companies of disbelievers. The people of Noah denied before them, and the tribe of Ad and Pharaoh, the owner of stakes. and the tribe of Thamud and the people of Lot and the companions of the thicket those are the companies Each of them denied the messengers, so my penalty was justified. These disbelievers await not but one blast of the horn, for it there will be no delay. And they say, Our Lord, Hasten for us our share of the punishment before the day of account. Be patient over what they say, and remember our servant David, the possessor of strength. Indeed, he was one who repeatedly turned back to Allah. <laughs> Indeed, we subjected the mountains to praise with him, exalting Allah in the late afternoon and after sunrise. And the birds were assembled, all with him repeating praises. وَشَدَدْنَا مُلْكَهُ وَآتَيْنَاهُ الْحِكْمَةَ وَفَصْلَ الْخِطَابِ And we strengthened his kingdom and gave him wisdom and discernment in speech. وَهَلْ أَتَاكَ نَبَأُ الْخَصْمِ And has there come to you the news of the adversaries, 
when they climbed over the wall of his prayer chamber? <laughs> When they entered upon David and he was alarmed by them, they said, Fear not, we are two adversaries, one of whom has wronged the other. So judge between us with truth and do not exceed it and guide us to the sound path. Indeed, this, my brother, has ninety-nine ewes, and I have one ewe. So he said, Entrust her to me, and he overpowered me in speech. <laughs> David said, He has certainly wronged you in demanding your you in addition to his use. And indeed, many associates oppress one another, except for those who believe and do righteous deeds, and few are they. And David became certain that we had tried him, and he asked forgiveness of his Lord, and fell down bowing in prostration, and turned in repentance to Allah. فَغَفَرْنَا لَهُ ذَلِكَ وَإِنَّ لَهُ عِنْدَنَا لَزُلْفَى وَحُسْنَ مَآبٍ So we forgave him that, and indeed, for him is nearness to us and a good place of return. <laughs> Ya 
في الأرض فاحكم بين الناس بالحق ولا تتبع الهوى فاحكم بين الناس بالحق ولا تتبع الهوى فيضلك عن سبيل الله We said, O David, indeed we have made you a successor upon the earth, so judge between the people in truth and do not follow your own desire, as it will lead you astray from the way of Allah. Indeed, those who go astray from the way of Allah will have a severe punishment for having forgotten the day of account. And we did not create the heaven and the earth and that between them aimlessly. That is the assumption of those who disbelieve. So woe to those who disbelieve from the fire. Or should we treat those who believe and do righteous deeds like corruptors in the land? Or should we treat those who fear Allah like the wicked? This is a blessed book which we have revealed to you, O Muhammad, that they might reflect upon its verses and that those of understanding would be reminded. And to David we gave Solomon, an excellent servant. Indeed, he was one repeatedly turning back to Allah. Mentioned when there were exhibited before him in the afternoon, 
the poised standing racehorses. And he said, Indeed, I gave preference to the love of good things over the remembrance of my Lord until the sun disappeared into the curtain of darkness. He said, Return them to me, and set about striking their legs and necks. And we certainly tried Solomon and placed on his throne a body, then he returned. He said, My Lord, forgive me and grant me a kingdom such as will not belong to anyone after me. Indeed, you are the bestower. <laughs> So we subjected to him the wind blowing by his command, gently, wherever he directed. And also the devils of Jin, every builder and diver, and others bound together in shackles. We said, This is our gift, so grant or withhold without account. And indeed, for him is nearness to us and a good place of return. And remember our servant Job when he called to his Lord, Indeed, Satan has touched me with hardship and torment. <laughs> So 
So he was told, Strike the ground with your foot. This is a spring for a cool bath and drink. And we granted him his family and a like number with them as mercy from us and a reminder for those of understanding. <laughs> We said, and take in your hand a bunch of grass, and strike with it, and do not break your oath. Indeed, we found him patient, an excellent servant. Indeed, he was one repeatedly turning back to Allah. And remember our servants Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, those of strength and religious vision. Indeed, we chose them for an exclusive quality, remembrance of the home of the hereafter. And indeed they are to us among the chosen and outstanding. And remember Ishmael, Elisha, and Dal Kifl, and all are among the outstanding. <laughs> This is a reminder, and indeed, for the righteous is a good place of return. Gardens of perpetual residence, whose doors will be opened to them. Reclining within them, they will call therein for abundant fruit and drink. And with them will be women limiting their glances and of equal age. This 
This is what you, the righteous, are promised for the day of account. Indeed, this is our provision. For it there is no depletion. This is so, but indeed for the transgressors is an evil place of return. Hell, which they will enter to burn, and wretched is the resting place. This, so let them taste it, is scalding water and foul purulence. And other punishments of its type in various kinds. Its inhabitants will say, This is a company bursting in with you. No welcome for them. Indeed, they will burn in the fire. They will say, nor you, no welcome for you. You, our leaders, brought this upon us, and wretched is the settlement. They will say, Our Lord, whoever brought this upon us, increase for him double punishment in the fire. And they will say, Why do we not see men whom we used to count among the worst? Is it because we took them in ridicule, or has our vision turned away from them? Indeed, that is truth, the quarreling of the people of the fire. Say,
Say, O Muhammad, I am only a warner, and there is not any deity except Allah, the One, the Prevailing. Lord of the heavens and the earth and whatever is between them, the exalted in might, the perpetual forgiver. <laughs> Say, it is great news. from which you turn away. I had no knowledge of the exalted assembly of angels when they were disputing the creation of Adam. has not been revealed to me except that I am a clear warner. So mention when your Lord said to the angels, Indeed, I am going to create a human being from clay. So when I have proportioned him and breathed into him of my created soul, then fall down to him in prostration. So the angels prostrated, all of them entirely. Except Iblis, he was arrogant and became among the disbelievers. Allah said, O Iblis, what prevented you from prostrating to that which I created with my hands? Were you arrogant then, or were you already among the haughty? He said, I am better than him. You created me from fire and created him from clay. Allah said, Then get out of paradise, for indeed you are expelled.
And indeed, upon you is my curse until the day of recompense. He said, My Lord, then reprieve me until the day they are resurrected. Allah said, So indeed, you are of those reprieved. Until the day of the time well known. Iblis said, By your might, I will surely mislead them all. Except among them your chosen servants. Allah said, The truth is my oath, and the truth I say. That I will surely fill hell with you and those of them that follow you all together. Say, O Muhammad, I do not ask you for the Quran any payment, and I am not of the pretentious. It is but a reminder to the world. And you will surely know the truth of its information after a time. <laughs> 